when it's necessary. Hey guys, it's Princess 3 x and this is the second video that I'm filming this ensemble and if you want a tutorial on how to get my look, I will post that link in the down bar as that video will go up first. But this video is a video featuring my sister, quite obviously, she's sitting beside me. And she's been in a video, she has been in a video with me before, she was in the, uh, what was it, I guess, Neutrals with a Pop of Color video that I filmed a really, really long time ago when I started my channel. Um, she was in that one and she was the one I did the look on, so this time I'm doing the look on her again, of course. And this is sort of her everyday, like, going out look when she goes out to dinner with her friends or goes to a party at nighttime. This is the look that I do on her. Um, it's a really easy look, and it's only using one quad, and that is the Maybelline Natural Smokes Quad, which is this top one here. And I love this quad because it is really natural looking, but it also really smoky, like the name suggests. And it's really easy to get your hands on. You can get a lot of versatile looks out of this. So that's basically what I used, and a lot of the products I use in this tutorial are Maybelline, so they're all drugstore, and you can get them at any drugstore near you. Um, so I'm just going to zoom in and show you her look. So, so this is what the look looks like, um, look down. It is really smoky, and it's got a really nice burgundy shade in the crease as well. It does have a bit of color on it, so it's not just browns and neutrals, and it has nice shimmery too. She has really thick lashes, as you can see, so I didn't do too much liner or too much mascara because I didn't want her to look like she had spider leg eyelashes because that would not be attractive. And then for the rest of the face, I just did peach cheeks, which aren't really showing up in this lighting, and then I did nude lips. Um, but yeah, so that's basically it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and on to the tutorial. So to start off, I'm going to prime both of her lids using the Urban Decay. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna put this in this. Using the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion in original. <laughs> okay, so the first shade from the Natural Smoke Squad that I'm going to be using is the lid shade, and that is this really pretty silver-toned taupe color, and it's got a lot of shimmers in it. And it's really, really, really pretty. So it looks like, it looks like that, and I'm just going to be applying that using my e.l.f. Professional Eyeshadow Brush. And it's just this big fluffy one, it's really dense, so I really like it for applying lid color. And I'm just going to apply that all over, all over her lid. Okay, then I'm going to use the Crease Shade, which is this really pretty sort of, I don't know, chocolatey brown color. It has really pretty burgundy tones to it as well. And it's got really nice gold shimmer in it, as you can see. And I'm going to be using my Studio Basics Eye Blending Brush. It's just this really fluffy brush. And I'm going to put that in her crease. She's a really small eye space. Close your eyes. She's a really small eye space, so I'm not going to be using up a lot of room with this crease color because I don't want her to look crazy. So... I'm just going to find her crease and place this crease color in it. And then to add a bit of smokiness on the outer corner, I'm going to be using the outer corner shade. And this is actually a matte dark brown color. It looks like that. It's a lot lighter on camera, but it is a really dark brown color. It uh, has very minimal shimmer in it. You can only see the shimmer because there's a light on. But in person, it's mostly matte. And I'm going to be applying that with my favorite outer corner brush, which is the other side of my Studio Basics tool, and this is the smudging side. It just looks like that. I'm just going to be grabbing a little bit of that, tapping it off, and then putting it in her outer corner to darken up the look. And then I'm just going to be taking the matte brow bone color from the quad as well, and this is just a skin tone matte color, and I'm going to be putting that right into her upper brow bone. To get, keep the look nice and clean. Next to this look, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner, and this is in the color Charcoal. Okay, I'm just not on the focusing area here. This is in Charcoal, which is a very pretty dark steel gray color with silver shimmer. You can see the all the nice shimmer in there. And I'm just going to be applying it using my own eyeliner brush that I just sort of made myself. It's from, it was originally the e.l.f. Professional Concealer Brush, 
which as you all know is really tiny and practically impossible to apply concealer with. So I just cut it into an angled shape and now I use it as an eyeliner brush. And my sister has really, really, really thick lashes, so she doesn't need a lot of eyeliner on her upper lash line, um, nor a lot of mascara, so I'm not going to be applying too much, not too thick of a line, um, just enough to sort of give a little definition to her eyes. Not yet. And then I'm also going to take a little bit and put it on her lower lash line, but just on the outer corner of her lower lash line. Okay. Now I'm going to apply mascara onto her upper lash line. I'm going to be using the Color Workshop Mascara. This is just a really simple mascara. Like I said, my sister has really already thick lashes, and they're also really, really long. So if you add too much mascara to them, they end up looking sort of spider-leggy. So I'm not going to be adding too much. Just a really thin coat to darken them up a little bit so they match with the look better. This is what the wand looks like. It's curved, and it is a very wet mascara, so it'll basically just be adding color. Look down. And then to finish off the actual eye look, I'm going to be using a really shimmery inner corner color because most of the colors in the lid were, they were shimmery but not as shimmery as I would like them to be. So I'm going to finish off by using a light shimmery color. This is the white shimmery color from my Designer Chocolate Squad from Maybelline as well. And just like that, which you can't really see because of the lighting. Um, but I'm just going to be applying that with a small cylinder brush into the inner corner because although the look is smoky, I want to keep the inner corner light so that it's not looking like she has just a black eye. Okay, uh, so that's it for the actual eyeshadows. You can stop there or you can continue watching to see what I'm going to do with her face. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is apply concealer underneath her eyes. She doesn't have a lot of blemishes on her face because she has pretty much, she has really nice skin um, as whereas it's mostly just a little bit of unevenness on her skin. Um, so I'm just going to be concealing her under eye circles and I'm going to be using the Revlon Color Stay under eye concealer with SPF 15 and this is in the color medium. And then to set her face I'm just going to be using a mineral powder um, just because mineral powder is lighter it's not as cakey. And I'm going to be using this Demure powder and, and you can see the website there I don't think you can buy this in stores but you can buy it from DemureCosmetics.com and this is their loose mineral foundation in medium to dark warm and I'm just going to tap on it so not too much comes out. And I'm going to be applying this with my Real Techniques by Samantha Chapman, which you can barely see, um, powder brush, which, like I said in my last video, I really love this brush. It's really nice for applying powder and it's really soft as well. Um, and it just looks like that. <laughs> I'm just going to be tapping in the container to get some. Go back here. And then I'm just going to lightly apply this all over her face. I hair it. <laughs> and then for blush, I'm just going to be using a peachy color because peach is usually what suits her tone of skin better because she has really yellowish undertones. Um, so peach complements it really well. So I'm going to be using this Maybelline Mineral Power Naturally Luminous Blush. And this is in True Peach, which you can't even really see the name because it's rubbed off. And I'm just going to be applying that with my favorite stippling brush from Studio Tools. It's not. She's going to be, oh, sheesh. I'm just going to be applying that on the apples of her cheeks as well. And then for her lips, I'm going to be using MAX um, Creme de Nude, which is a cream sheen lipstick. And it is just a pinky toned nude. And then to finish off her lips, um, and keep the nude lipstick from looking too crazy pale. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Minty Lip Gloss in Chicago. Chicago! Asia. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just a gold um, shimmery color with really nice shimmers in it. As you can see. And that's what it looks like. It's minty, so it makes your breast smell good too. And I'm pretty sure it would plump, plump your lips if she really needed it. But she doesn't. Um, but I imagine that's what the mint is usually for. Oh. And this is what it looks like in the end. It's a really pretty look at it. It is a bit dramatic for daytime, but it's definitely good for going out at night. Um, and it, as you can see, it works for just about any eye shape. 
and any eye color as well. She has really dark eyes, but it works for her and it'll work for any eye color because it's a really universal shades and stop making faces at the camera. But yes, yeah, so there will be pictures at the very end of this video. All the products that I used on her face will be listed in the down bar. And all my links will be listed in the down bar as well. <laughs> and no, my sister does not have has no, no. And no, my sister does not have a channel, so do not ask. Um, she doesn't. I, I actually do, but it's not mine. I <laughs> just <laughs> ask. Um, so yeah. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, subscribe, send your requests, and we will both see you guys later. Remember when, you were you little, the eye. remember when you were a little more and you were like blink like crazy? You were like, oh, oh, I don't laugh. I'll do that. <laughs> and you were like, lipstick burns my lips. <laughs> I, 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 loud. Stop being loud. <laughs> and Stop making faces into the camera. <laughs> Is that what you were doing? <laughs> Sad that I knew that that's what you were doing. Okay. Bring it back. Don't do nothing to the camera. I'm not. I got on Facebook. Come back and when I watch the videos and I'm looking faces on. Uh-huh. Well, get up. <laughs>